With the shooting over, Jimmy, anxious to race again, enters his new Porsche Spider in an upcoming rally in Salinas, California. Friday, September 30th, 1955. Jimmy goes to Competition Motors to pick up his car, which he has named The Little Bastard. Accompanying Jimmy to the race is Rolf Wetherich, his mechanic. 5.45 p.m. As twilight falls, Jimmy approaches the intersection of routes 466 and 41 in Sholem, California. Traveling in the opposite direction on route 466 is a 1950 Ford Tudor. Suddenly, and without warning, the Ford turns to enter Route 41 directly in front of Jimmy's car. Jimmy swerves to get around the Ford, but he can't. Upon impact, Jimmy's mechanic is thrown clear of the car. His jaw is broken and his leg is crushed, but he will survive. The 23-year-old college student who is driving the other car escapes with only a bruised shoulder and nose. Jimmy, taking a direct hit, is left trapped in the car with multiple fractures and a broken neck. His death is instantaneous. Because he did exactly what we would do with a racing car. We wouldn't slam on the brakes and hit the car head on. He pulled his stern around to get around the car, just like a normal race car guy. And By that time, he had come to mean a great deal to me. And uh, he always said that his greatest fear was riding. On the night James Dean died, artist Kenneth Kendall began working on the statue that Jimmy had wanted. Six months later in Fairmont, Indiana, the finished bronze bust was mounted on a pedestal in the cemetery where Jimmy was buried. As James Dean was being honored in death, he was also being slurred. Shortly after its dedication, the sculpture was sawed off its foundation and has never been recovered. Immediately after its disappearance, rumors began to surface that it had been taken by war veterans who were angered not only because the statue honored a movie star instead of a soldier, but also because they claimed that Jimmy had avoided military service by registering as a homosexual. I know some of the veterans were. Along with the disappearance of James Dean's bust, many of his personal belongings are also gone. The tape recordings he made of his private thoughts and feelings and the 16 millimeter movies that he took on the set of Giant are still among the missing. However, the most bizarre disappearance was that of James Dean's car itself. Shortly after being displayed in a number of car shows, it too vanished and has never been found. No one knows what would have become of Jimmy had he lived. One can only guess. What we do know is that James Dean was one of our most gifted actors.